Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcome to here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Sagittarius, as the title of this video suggests, it is about 2023, the big energies for you. For the collective watching this, I have six different decks. So this will mainly, let's say 90% of this will be around your personal love life. But of course, I will be mentioning other areas of your life, such as career, finances, travel, family, whatever comes up for the collective, I will be mentioning that. Let's start off first. <clears throat> excuse me, with the Archangel Power Tarot cards. All right, so Sagittarius, please, for 2023, the big energies coming forward for Sagittarius. Let's get some good news. Let's see. Three more, please. Get a really good shuffle here. Oh, we have one card that wanted to, oh wow, okay. I just saw what card that is and you're gonna like it. Okay, it just like stuck to my hand. So uh, that is definitely a, um, a dominant card, a highlighted message. So that is, whoa, this is looking good. The only problem I've got to say with these cards is that because they were designed very wide and I've got small hands, um, they see, they tend to slip out of my hands, but I really felt guided to use these, so. Last one. Nope, they're saying two more. There we go. Thank you. And the last one, please, for Sagittarius. All right, here we go. So I know there's a, a lot, there's a lot of um, decks to get through, but we will do it. So the card that came out, which I was really happy to see for 2023 for you, which I think is gonna be kind of like the umbrella for the entire reading, was the beautiful Two of Cups or Two of Raphael. Archangel Raphael guides us with relationships, with our health, and also with travel. Look what it says at the bottom. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Now, you know, it's not the first time, Sagittarius, you've gotten the Two of Cups. And I always say, now's not the time to walk away. Now's not the time to give up on those that we love. This is definitely you and there is someone else. I mean, this is cancer energy, but your person can be literally any star sign. We're emotionally here on a soul level. You, you know, your hearts are beating for each other and you're mirroring each other almost 100% here. So if you are dealing with someone romantically right now, that's going to get better. If perhaps you are single, uh, you're going to meet your ideal match here, most likely within the next two months. This could also be someone from your past, but we will see. I would like to narrow down who this person is. What else do we have at the bottom of the deck is justice. Libra energy. Look at that. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Now, some of you are probably also wrapping up something to do with the legal system, such as separation, divorce, child support, spousal support here, for example. Some of you may have been actually married to this person. There could be some kind of chance to make amends, you know, where we build the breach and we can forgive and move forward. This though, I feel is separate from this though. I'm seeing an apology though, definitely coming your way. Now, some of you also may be purchasing a new home or renting a new home or renting off and selling off a new home. And I love this because justice is such a positive card on its own. It means yes, yes, it's gonna happen. Yes, it's gonna come in your favor here as well. So it's all about balancing everything. Beautiful, the six of wands. That's um, ruled by Leo. Look at that. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, promotions. This also means, you know, accolades, laurels, basically, uh, you know, be, being like at the center of attention for all your hard work. Now, this is personal success for you. And, you know, obviously what personal success means for every Sagittarius will be different. And this did not happen overnight. This is something that you really worked for, you grind for. Nobody saw the, the sweat off your brow. They didn't see the hard work here, but you may be signing something really, really important here, such as if you pitched an idea, applied for a loan, you know, you want this or you want that, it's gonna go your way. Because this can actually mean meeting the ideal person that actually helps you get to your goals. But I do feel here we've got someone uh, honestly, that it's you could almost say it's love at first sight here. And I'm seeing that there is a big level of personal success. And we also have the two of pentacles here. 
It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. But for me, every time I see the two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, it's about making decisions, isn't it? Choices, ins, the outs, the positive, and the negatives and all that. You know, the ins, the out, pros, cons, whatever it is here, you may actually reach kind of like a crossroads where it's almost like, maybe do I take this person into my life or do I focus more here on my career though? And you know, sometimes I think, we don't always have to choose one or the other. Why can't we have both though? Because I'm, I'm seeing here that your career, and I'm hearing that some of you may be doing something online, like a YouTube channel, um, influencing, doing something online. You could even have an online business. Whatever it is here, that's really gonna take off here. And if your finances are a little bit strained, that's about to shift here because we have the seven of Ariel. This is the seven of pentacles though. Look what it says. You have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest, review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So some of you may be thinking, I would like my money to really work for me in the new year, such as I'd like to get into property investment or even commercial investment, like rent off some properties, start trading shares, Forex, for example, here. I see there could be some investors, financiers, people that say, you know what, I am going to finance this, approve your loan. Um, if you've been pitching, someone's going to say, yes, whatever you've got, you know, could have that million dollar idea. So that is good. This is a very positive card. You're literally surrounded here by pentacles. Is it going to pay off? Yes, it will. But I'm also seeing this element here of should I actually invest my time in this new relationship? I'm going to say yes. Yes, you should, because it's, it's going to pay off. And look at that. We've got the six of um, swords. We're moving into calmer waters. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief, make new plans, relocation and travel for some of you. Um, now, if that's not for you, there's no relocation or travel. This is just movement forward into calmer waters. Let's get to the main reading here. The five of wands, Leo energy. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So I'm really kind of inclined to say here that you are in the process of the six of swords. You're moving into karma waters. We're moving away from drama. And also for those that really want to create like a side hustle or another stream of income or just really make it big here, do not be worried. There is competition. There is a lot of people with the same idea, but do not worry because it seems here with the seven of pentacles, you're going to actually kind of bypass all this competition here as well. Yes, there could be a lot of jealousy here as well. Like, you know, why does Sagittarius, what are they doing better than me? That's their problem because you're on your own path here as well. Um, but I'm kind of really picking up here also for some of you, perhaps your last relationship did not end also on a good note. So it's almost like it's left you a little bit weary of perhaps being open um, to love for now though. What else do we have? We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Look at that stability, efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. Wow, I'm just gonna turn on the air conditioner. Just one second, it's really, really hot here. All right, Sagittarius, I'm back. My apologies um, for that. If you hear the fan running in the background, it's, it's just the air conditioner. It's just absolutely, it is stinking hot where I am and I just realized I'm covered in sweat. So just ignore the background noise of the fan. So let's continue. Now we have the Emperor, Aries energy, all the kings wrapped up into one. What I absolutely love this about this energy, regardless of gender, is that uh, you're pretty much gra taking 2000, 2023 by the horns. Um, you're going to take no for an answer. You're not going to let anyone get in your way. That's why I always said you're going to rise above the competition here. Some of you may be going back to school or studying um, and others of you, you're actually going to become a mentor to other people. They're like, Sagittarius, tell me, how did you do it? I find your achievements amazing here because you're going to make very good investments here. How can I make my money work for me? If anything, I'm seeing a trend is that your focus is not so much on love, but it is on your professional life, your finances, security and stability here in the future. So this is really, really good. As a side note though, do not be surprised though that that two of cups energy, this love here is gonna be quite persistent. It's always like at the tail end. It's still kind of chasing you in other words. It's not going anywhere. Yet we've got the king of swords. Very strong Aquarius energy. This could also be a Libra and also um, a Gemini. Now, what does it say here? Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. One, that is going to be about your dreams, about your finances, 
and your career here. I think some of you are tired of also working for someone else. You want to be your own boss. Can you do it? Is it possible? Absolutely in its own time when you feel comfortable um, and just definitely voice this. But I'm actually seeing here that this person, this two of cups, I think you know who this person is. This could be a friend. This could be an ex. It's someone you're dealing with because usually the king of swords is someone that you know. They perhaps want to have an important conversation with you in 2023 and you're like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I've got so much going on for me. What else do we have? Yeah, oh, okay, well, I don't blame you if you don't want to talk to this person because we have the five of pentacles. We have abandonment issues, that's Taurus energy. And look what it says, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby, negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. You already knew that, Sagittarius, but I think it's just that this person, regardless of gender, left a very bad taste in your mouth. Now, for some of you though, I think what you're really, really doing, your biggest goal, I think, is your finances. Because see, this can show loss of income, money being lost or stolen, or it was just hemorrhaging somewhere or you weren't making enough. But that's the thing, it's like no more. Because we have the emperor and the emperor's like, you know, I'm gonna take control of this situation. Now I'm gonna make my money work for me. There may have been bad investments in the past, for example, but you've learned your lesson here as well. So as much as we have this, you know, this beautiful two of cups, this person that really, really loves you, wants your attention, it's being commanded somewhere else. The beating heart of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. And it says already, there is so much to accomplish this year. Make a very detailed plan at being, oh, it says being watched over by someone kind here. Okay, so you may be receiving help here as well. Could be from, you know, someone that finances it, a bank, a parent, someone that's going to help you. This shows a passage of time here. And look at this. I love that you jump from and I hate to say this, it is known as the card of poverty, but you're snapping out of it because you've got the seven of pentacles and you also have the knight of, Pe um, knight of pentacles. This can represent someone that is trustworthy, understanding, the devoted, probably have a very good sense of humor here as well. Um, could be a divine masculine energy that comes and helps you. They give you something grounded, something promising here, something of value here as well. So I'm really liking this. But I think you've definitely known this person, this lover in the past. You've known them for a while. You have history with them. Then they're, they're just being very persistent here. They're being very slow. Look at that. you got the chariot. That is cancer energy. This is the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of your success by others. Now, remember, you got the six of wands. That is a victory card. The chariot is another victory card times 100, though. Yes, it comes with a dose of jealousy, but I always say that's their problem. As long as people do not interfere and they don't F up with your dreams and you don't let them, which I know Sagittarius, you won't. That is excellent. I think your person's gonna find out here about all your success. People start turning around, people start turning their heads, and so will your person here as well. This is really good. I'm seeing a lot of successful self-employment. Look how you bounce back uh, from regaining your fin finances and then some more. Beautiful, yes, do not worry about money. We've got the six of pentacles. See how we have progressive energy with your finances from the six? Oh, sorry, from the five, we go to the six and we've got the seven. So money keeps getting better. Yes, it feels like it's taken forever, but 2023 promises something different. It actually says here, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So we're seeing here that someone is gonna give you like a leg up here as well. I actually like this and I must say, that this person that is coming back is coming back with good intentions. I know that, you know what, I give you permission to roll your eyes and leave this video right now. But the six of pentacles for me is that when someone is coming to wave the white flag, they may be coming with a gift here. Um, could be something to congratulate you here with. Uh, I'm seeing here either it's getting a new job in a new sector or a new industry, having your own business, you're launching something here. Um, and they're going to find out. I don't know how, but they, people have ways of finding out here. This is equal give and take. And I'm seeing here that if money was lost or stolen or money is owed to you, that's going to happen. So do not worry. Recovery of finances. Excellent. We have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So some of you are definitely studying. You're doing your own research here. I um, mean, it's all about expansion for your career. It's all about earning more money here. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So it's all about team effort here. So if you're pitching an idea or if you want a loan or you need someone to come and support you, it's all gonna work out. Again, I, it, I always find it incredibly funny how the three of pentacles and the chariot comes with that dose of jealousy again. You know, you may have friends that say, well, 
you know, I'm so happy for you, but deep down inside, it's like eating away at them. But like I say, that is a problem. You, you probably already know who these people are here as well. This is face-to-face -face meetings where you will have the chance here to kind of pitch your idea or go to interviews and they're like, yes, Sagittarius is the person. And we have you. What are you so stressed about? The 10 of Gabriel, that's strictly Sagittarius energy. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. I don't think that you do that. I don't think that you try hard to please others because I, you know, if anything, you're the most flexible star sign here. Um, I honestly think it's this person's arrival here. It kind of throws you off a little bit. Um, this person is not going to go away. And, you know, if you're applying for jobs and you're stressed about it, please do not worry. You're actually going to meet the right people. In other words, you're going to meet your tribe. And that's what we want. I want to clarify these cards for you because if anything, I see that you're like a busy bee with your finances, your career. And it's almost like, do I ever even have time for love? Because this is all very exciting that's coming your way. You know, I think Sagittarius, you have a talent, you have a skill set. You're going to be paid what you owed. That's what's happening here. Um, but I think you're just very apprehensive in terms of this person, this lover, that you know who this person is coming back into your life. Spirit said two more. I think you just don't want any more stress, but I think I feel like they're just going to throw you off a little bit. <laughs> That's all. It's like, oh, wait, now, now you're coming back when everything's going really, really good. And many of you may be wondering, I don't know how I'm going to get my finances back. I don't know. Do not worry about the how. It's all here. We've got really good people um, that are surrounding you or about to surround you and they want to see you win. Two more. Last one. All right, here we go. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you, for my feminines, you may be a mother, you may have children, you probably want children. It is a very fertile card. We have the beautiful bunny there. Um, on this own, I am seeing that a lot of you, it's just like, regardless of gender, the whole theme this year is career advancement. You, for It's important to feel secure. So you want that stability here. You want that firm foundation. When you wake up, you don't have to worry about money, which you won't have to. There's going to be a change in the air. Also, you may be receiving some financial advice or help or an offer here from this Queen of Pentacles. I would always say listen to this person because they're coming with good intentions. They want to see you win here as well. This is beautiful. We also have the High Priestess. Pisces energy, a time of using your intuition. But it also says we need to keep our mouth closed. Why? Because not everyone's going to be clapping for us. Not everyone. No, not at all. I'm seeing that there's a lot of influence here of we've got the divine masculine. We have divine feminine energy here as well. You know, some secrets may be revealed to you as well. I mean, this is the card of kind of reading between the lines, sacred knowledge, secrets, mysteries, conversations that are about to be revealed here as well, such as this person coming back into your life, really, and confessing their feelings and probably how much they missed you, which I don't think, it's like, if it does throw you off a little bit. It's like, oh, you know, I have things really good going. I don't really want to revisit the past here as well. But the high priest is saying, just at the moment, with all this success that is coming your way, um, probably just not say anything at the moment, because I mean, literally you have the ace of pentacles this is my empire card my entrepreneur card you don't need the tens or the nines you just need that big fat coin here this is starting uh, your own business it's being promoted but this is something that is so big that it even like you know when people are afraid of success can i handle this uh, yes you can <laughs> because you've got two success cards you're being seen as the emperor now yes you can handle it at the same time we do have that six of cups Scorpio energy. We do have the blast from the past. And I see here that secretly they are approaching you right in the middle when things are going amazing for you. And yeah, here they come with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel this is probably why they may be coming quite secretly towards you because I'm wondering, is this person, or was, we'll see what's happening here, um, committed, engaged, or married to someone else? Because I'm seeing a third party here. Yeah. Hmm. So that kind of makes sense why I think this is going to just throw you off a little bit. It's like, oh, really? Why? Yeah, because at the moment you're really putting yourself first. I absolutely love that. And your intuition is an all time high. You're something big. If you are pitching for something um, or if you're looking for a loan or you really want your money to work for you, it's going to happen. And then boom, when that happens, we've got this person from the past. And what do they want? The magician, Gemini Virgo energy, a brand new start with you. 
I may be disappointed. I think your mind is somewhere else. The five of Gabriel is clarified by the Emperor side by side. Look at that. Aries energy. Do not worry about the competition. You may be in what they say, which it sounds kind of toxic, a cutthroat industry, for example. You are going to rise above the competition. This is like literally boss energy, being a manager, being um, an owner, entrepreneur, being it's like this is like taking leadership here of your life, of your career, of your finances, where you become basically um, a mentor or a teacher. People look up to you. So this is going to be your year of leadership here, Sagittarius. The Emperor, let's talk about the Emperor, is clarified by the Seven of Swords. Like I said, not, not everyone's going to be clapping for you. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. We could have co-workers, we could have friends thinking, well, why do they deserve the promotion? Why do they deserve all the success? I think here what you're going to be doing is that you're like the quiet achiever. And that kind of reminds me a little bit of Scorpio. In other words, you work really, really hard. You don't really say anything. You didn't say anything to anyone, but then boom, you explode and you're like, what the hell happened? Um, I think it's actually pretty good. I think what you're doing is it's like it's sneaky, but in a good way. You're not really telling it everyone again because not everyone's clapping for you, though. I do see here that you're not. I mean, you're looking over your shoulder towards your ex. I don't think you're really trusting the situation and not also trusting them. Let's talk about them. Yeah. Six of Wands again. Leo energy. They do want a level of success here with you. See, look at the difference. It's like, I don't trust you, but I really want this to be successful. But you did this. So, you know, they're going to be faced with a massive surprise because regardless of, um, you know, gender, you've come across twice very early in your reading as the emperor All the kings wrapped up into one. You're stepping up here and you're not allowing anyone to waste your time. And you really you want this year to be really different as I'm really picking up this year, last year. I don't know. It just felt like it was two steps forward, 10 steps back. Now you want 10 steps forward and then 20 steps forward the next day. And it's going to happen. The five of pentacles is clarified here by the lovers. Gemini energy. Yeah. Uh, I used to say, I, I would, I'm inclined to say that the love that you had with this person was mutual. I don't think it is anymore because this person was the one that abandoned you. Regardless of the status, if you were just committed, engaged or married, it really shows here that um, when you needed them the most, when you needed a shoulder to cry on, they just left. Perhaps I had someone else's back. They chose someone else. They ghosted you. They did a runner, gave you the cold shoulder. I see here that you're also going to meet your ideal match though. So that two of cups that we store at the start, indeed, within two months can be actually someone else. A different soulmate connection. We have many soulmates in this lifetime. You definitely might meet them somehow connected to your finances. So if you are single and you are looking for love, I would keep your eyes and ears open though. This is a very good match. Let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles is the Nine of Cups. How beautiful is that? Pisces energy. So this is a wish card and it's in the beating heart of your reading and it's on top of the slowest night. This is something you've been waiting for. You've been dreaming for. You've been grinding, working so hard for. If you want to meet someone romantically, it's going to happen. It's going to be successful. If you want to have your own business, whatever your wish is for your finances, your career and love, it's going to happen because it's beating in the heart of your reading. But again, they're saying that um, you're, not, you're not saying anything to anyone. And I think that's very smart because the three of pentacles says you're going to do, there's a lot of face to face meetings. But again, yeah, people are going to be a little bit jealous here, a little bit envious of you. This is beautiful. Let's talk about the chariot. Look at that. You got the three of pentacles twice. You indeed may meet someone here through your finances, through your studies or through your career. And that's going to take off. It's actually going to take off pretty quickly here. Capricorn energy. So I'm wondering, do you know who this person is? Because this indeed could be someone that you already know and they just confess it to you. Most likely within two months. If not, like I said, keep your eyes and your ears open because um, it's going to be very successful here as well. And it's literally like, this is like emotional contentment thinking, you know, I feel emotionally good. I feel loved. I feel appreciated here. And this is being on the same team. You're on the same page. You both want the same thing. Your ex, on the other hand, hmm, they may be in for a, a bit of a rude awakening. Let's talk about the six of pentacles. There's the king of swords again. Let's see? It's like they don't know. See, the king of swords is here. It's like they don't know how to prove to you or how to convince you that they're coming back with good intentions. That's what's happening here. But I see you keeping them at an arm's length. You're peering over your shoulder thinking, I know you want this, but I just don't trust you anymore. I mean, how do we go back to where we were at the very start? The three of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups. Knights mean messages, changes. This will be of the romantic kind. Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So yes, your person may be apologizing to you. Yes, they want a reunion. 
you're still not trusting this person no your walls are up your eyes are on someone else and you've got your eye on the prize in terms of your finances and your career i'm seeing a lot of you becoming more um like self-independent more resourceful your own boss here taking leadership mm. We've got some romantic changes. And also, if you are applying for a job, if you're pitching um, an idea here, if you need whatever it is that you need from someone or a group of people to make your dream come true, to propel you forward, you're going to get the good news. That's why I'm seeing here, it's like you're sitting down thinking, oh my God, I actually did it. But I'm not saying anything to anyone just yet. Let's talk about you. What are you so stressed about? Okay, no, no, it's okay. You got the fool, Aries energy, go for it. Take that leap of faith here. I think here, yeah, in terms of this past person, you may be worried about making the wrong decision, such as if I turn them away, am I gonna regret it? No, you're not. And I think you already know that because I think you've got here a solid new start with someone else. And I think they're around your energy. It's like they're literally just like, you know, around you, you can literally touch them. In other words, I wanna get some romantic, um, big energy messages here. Yeah, I'm not surprised that they want reconciliation, but I think you've got your eyes on someone else, such as your finances and your career. Yeah, I got someone new coming in though. Yeah. Ooh. Let's see. I won't have any jumping cards. I actually want to do these ones properly as well. Two more. Last one. All right, here we go yeah i think they're somehow connected this definitely could be an acquaintance it could be just casually introduced to them something to do with finances career it's going to be quite flirty extend your light-hearted energy to others they're going to make the effort wow wedding the situation involves marriage so in other words yes literal me meaning could be that you're going to marry this new person but this often means just really committing to each other though because this could be the one now some of you have already met this romantic partner you seek they might have children you could have children regardless this is like that beautiful childlike wonder and innocence but it's time to release your ex yeah, but you already know this sagittarius you're on top of this you've got boss energy yep calling in your soulmate this is now, you know, kind of, how could I say, manifesting the one that will not break your heart, the one that is not going to waste your time. We've got soulmate. Yes, this is your, look at this, all this soulmate energy that we've got. We've got to learn to trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith in this new person. Yep. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel that you've got a bit of trust issues. I don't blame you. We, we get burned once, we get burned twice, so... Yep, look at this. Give your relationship a chance. Work on it, your partnership. I don't feel like it's this person. In fact, they're saying, give me another chance. Let's work on this. But I don't think you will. Because trust is an issue here. Because you're going to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Wonderful. Yep, the attraction. Look at that. Well, okay, yes, they're still attracted to you. But I feel like other people are finding you attractive because you are your genuine self. You know, you think outside the box, in other words. Here they come back, forgiving and learning. I did say the Knight of Cups is also my apology card. This is the problem though, codependency. I feel like this person is emotionally attached to you. They could also be really suffering from some kind of addictions, such as over drinking, gambling. There's something unhealthy and you're just gonna free yourself from that. And I think it's very smart of you. Door to romance, it's open. And someone's thinking of you. Okay, waiting to make their move. You got, look at that's like the Empress card, Cornucopia. You're literally gonna have it all this year. But it's only because, look at that and the thinking woman. It's only because you work so much. Like the spirit keeps showing me, you know, when you work so much, you got the sweat off your brow. Like literally you've put in so much work into your passion. Yeah, see, strategy. And I feel here is that you're not going to announce it yet to the entire world. I don't know how your ex is going to find out though. Two more. Last one. Oh, thank you. Highlighted message there. Here we go. What do we have? Beautiful. Look at that. Happy family. Wow, that's like my Ten of Cups, like Pisces energy, my happily ever after. I think you're going to find your tribe. You're going to meet the one. Now, again, like I said, there already may be children involved. There could be a beautiful blended family or the promise of having children. Um, but I feel like this is, when we say this is your soulmate, this is literally the one. It's not the ex. 
We've got adjacent possibilities at the bottom. So in other words, how do we make our money work for us? Do I invest it this way? Do I invest it that way? Do I do it this way? Do I do it that way? A lot of opportunities for work here as well. You cannot make the wrong decision. If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I am seeing a divine feminine that's coming in to help you. They're giving you that leg up. You've got cornucopia. Look at that. That is complete abundance in all areas of your life. Health, money, career. Um, I said finances, that's money, love and all that. Happy, healthy children. We've got that thinking man again. And we've got man holding the cart. So, and we've got the thinking woman. You're really thinking about each other. Wow. Okay. The ex is probably going to be very persistent, not in a creepy way, but I'm do seeing here we've got two different um, we've got two different men here, regardless of gender. We've got two different people here, and they're both vying for your attention. Don't forget to put yourself first, rest and rejuvenation, indecision. Mm, this definitely could be in terms of how to make my money work for me. You will find the answer. And I think you kind of already know that. But the indecision could be about how to respond to your um, this past person coming back and how much do you want to allow them back into your life because we do have trust issues. Yeah, financial constraints. Mm. And we did have the five of pentacles. I do believe for some of you, listen, if money was lost or stolen or whatever because of this person, um, they're not doing very good with finances. So you may be asking yourself, are they coming back with an agenda? Maybe they are because there's a seven of swords. You know, that is about lying, cheating and stealing. So just be mindful here that if someone does ask you for money, you may not get it back though. So it's, it's a good time to start freeing yourself now. Now, remember you had the five of pentacles, but look what you've got. The door to value literally got the doors bursting with currencies from all over the world oh just fell out of my hand let me just grab that i don't want to pause the video we had the angel of balance yeah balance and rejuvenation here so i know it's easy for me to hit sit here and say it but you know it, it's probably also the year of learning to put everything in its own boss okay that's work you know, this is rest, this time for me and all that. So don't forget about yourself along the process. We don't want to burn ourselves out because that 10 of wands is about physical burnout as well. I did say that there was jealousy. And why am I not surprised? Could it be? Could it actually be that this past person that is coming back is also quite envious because they don't have any money, but you do now. This could also be a friend. So be bear in mind and ask yourself, who is it that you believe? Use your intuition here. Who do you think is probably not going to be clapping for you? Because, I mean, you're coming up as emperor energy. That's like boss energy, which is why I think you may have to walk away from people, situation, events, exes and friends that no longer serve you. You've got the sun. Look at that. Being completely blessed here. And that is with your finances, your career, this new love that's coming your way. Beautiful. Woman holding the heart. You literally have also man holding the heart. You're going to meet your person. You may forgive, yes, and say, but I can't be with you, but we've got beautiful. So there's something that's happening in your love life that's going to make you really, really happy here. And we've got all tied up. I, you know what I almost feel when I see this card? It's almost like all tied up, codependency. You may also be a little bit emotionally attached to this person, perhaps because you've got history with them. You know, they're familiar. You know what to expect here as well. But I think you're going to have to make a choice between past person um, and new person, but it's okay. Things are going to be healed. I, I believe, I, and I'm really certain you're going to make the right decision here, um, which is this new person. They're already around your energy. So I'm wondering, how, do you already know them? Let's see. More for Sagittarius, please, from the Numerology cards. One more. Oh, and last one. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Bottom of the deck. A personal issue reaches resolution. Could be dealing with a cancer here. That's good. All right, that's good. We want to see that. It's time to take action. Aries energy. There it is with the boss energy, of course. What do you need to release? We also had free yourself. What do you need to release? I think it's going to be this X once and for all. Work through your fears, Scorpio energy. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, we're finally closing the chapter here as well. 
let's get to the main readings. So we have surrendered to the divine. We don't have to be in control of everything. And once we surrender, that's when we have good people coming into our life as well. Bring love into the situation, Aquarius energy. Yes, you're, you may not trust your ex, but we always have to choose love over fear as well. So you may say, you know what, I forgive you, but I can't be with you. Always acting with grace. Emotions are running high. Ooh, so something's going to um, stir your feelings. This could be the arrival unexpected of this ex, but you're not going to let your past hold you back. No, you're not. Absolutely not. Expect a powerful change in your career, in your finances, in your... This is all about moving forward because the energy is gaining momentum. Followed by, yep, hold your vision. Stay true to your vision because it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. However you want your future to look like 2023, I'm seeing a lot of you have actually already written out a plan. Stick to it. Stick to it because it's going to pay off because there's a win-win outcome forecast, Libra energy there. Especially if there's anything like legalities, separation, divorce, signing important documents here as well because the answers you need are coming. Could be through a Gemini here as well. So, wow. And lastly, let's do the modern oracle energy cards. <laughs> Look at that. Happiness, joy, and celebration is yours. So I'm kind of feeling there will be a breakthrough, though. That's why we've got to expect a powerful change in the beating heart of your reading. All right, let's do this. Oh, two more. Last one. So this is all about moving forward. I absolutely love that. Bottom of the deck. Mm, this is what we want to see. We've got money, wealth, prosperity. It's literally raining money here for you. We've got good luck, good fortune, windfall. Now, it may seem as if everything's falling into place and it's good luck, but this is because of all your hard work. That's what it is. You are being blessed and guided. Have confidence, honor yourself. Look at that endings, completion, finished, the ending definitely of this, but it's almost like I'm really happy because you never gave up on yourself. There's a finish line and um, yes, yes to love, romance and improvement. So we definitely have someone new coming in. Bear in mind that your ex will be, like I said, asking you for forgiveness. What else do we have? Yep, yeah, we've got a divine masculine coming in again. Regardless of gender, I think you're just embodying that emperor energy, which is really around this area here as well encouragement you can do it go for it you want to apply for that loan get, get a new job <clears throat> be your own boss how do i make my money work for me yeah you could definitely be receiving help from a divine masculine one divine masculine one divine feminine yeah we've got travel moving on taking flight one is definitely moving on from this x and like i said there could be travel involved here as well for work or it could just be for a holiday yep we've got new career and work changes handing in that resume here updating it sprucing it up a little bit it's going to pay off you will be safe secure stay put this is fantastic this new person also that comes into your life why because all your wishes are coming true remember you did get the nine of cups that is wishes coming true for you what else please children, childlike, innocence. So I would not be surprised, Sagittarius, the vast majority of you may already have children or this new person that comes into your life also has children and you may very well meet them at work. And I think it's going to work. It's going to be blessed. You will be safe here. Wow. Look at that. The right time now. Do it now. Don't waste time. But you don't waste time. That's what I love about you, Sagittarius. Absolutely. Look, a win-win outcome is forecast. The right time is do it now. Whatever you want for your dreams, do it now. Look at this. We've got also the divine feminine. So we've got the divine masculine, divine feminine. And sandwiched in the middle, we have that you will be safe with this new relationship. Even if it's same-sex relationship, we're coming across as the perfect match. I wanted whilst more and again, happiness, joy and celebration. Sagittarius, 2023 is the year of releasing the past, of moving forward, getting that boss energy. You're taking 2023 by the horns. You're not letting anyone walk all over you. you. Never did anyway, but you're not letting anyone waste your time and you're just moving forward. Finances, career, new relationship. It's looking really good. If there are children involved, we've got happy, healthy children here. Um, and yeah, don't forget you've got the Ace of Pentacles, that big, 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 big 
big energy that's coming your way. Money is looking amazing. Some of you actually may also win something. You know, if you do the lottery or something like that, um, windfall, you may even find money. I know that sounds pretty offbeat, but I've seen it happen before. So. Um, Sagittarius, I wish you the very best for 2023. I thank you for joining me and I will see you next week with a brand new love reading um, and brand new topic. And I thank you for joining me this year and I hope health, happiness, perf yeah, perfect health, love and success is always yours wherever you turn in the new year. Please, please, please take care Sagittarius and much love to you. I'll see you soon. Bye.